Hi everyone, my name is Jan Melisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I am going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful painting and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Before I'm going to start the tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use. So I have here my pen palette guys. I have the titanium white, the hollow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the raw amber. So I am using raw amber guys as the replacement of black. And you can also use burnt uh, shena or raw shena. I know I mean um, burnt shena and burnt amber. So if you are using um, um, Burn Shena guys, um, you need to use the blue and the red to make it dark. Okay, so since if you're using um, the burnt umber and the raw umber, you only need to use the blue to make it dark guys, so look like black. Okay, I'm using limited colors because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay, so these are my brushes. I have the number 11 nylon flat brush, number 8 nylon flat brush, long handled. Number 7, nylon flat brush, short handled, and number 0, uh, or, um, liner brush for the details. You can also use 1, double zero, and triple zeros. Okay. And here's my canvas, guys. It's 10 by 12 inches. It has 3 coats of prime white acrylic. You can also use gesso. I made it myself. Okay and water to thin the paint and also a water spray guys if ever gonna do this to make our to make the surface work canvas smoother we just have to spray it on the surface okay so i think i'm going to start now and um i, I will be painting now guys something like um a snow christmas so i'm going to put a big christmas tree or a Christmas a white tree guys with um, I'm, I'm also put I'm, go I'm going to put also a house here with lights on and it, th this will be a night scene guys and I'm going to put on the background some fireworks so this will be uh, something like Christmas Eve or something like that okay so I'm going to start now and I'm gonna use first my Number two, ah uh, no, I mean, sorry guys, number 11, nylon flat brush, so handle. Okay, so, so if you are painting with me, just follow everything um, I'll do in this tutorial. So let's get to use the blue first, with some red to make it purple, because I'm going to make the sky dark. Yes guys, you heard it right, dark skies. Because I'm going to emphasize more on the on the fireworks display. So here, all all you have to do, guys, is just paint it with the purple first for the background. There, that's it. So I think we're gonna need to spray it to make it smoother. There. Okay. More blue and red. And I'm going to add a little white on it to, to add some blendings on our sky. So I think I'm going to put the house here guys. And the Christmas tree here and on top of it. 
I'm going to put the the fireworks. So I'm going to divide it with two two here. So if you are going to put some clouds guys, it's okay, you know, you can also put some clouds in it. There. That's it. So I'll be mixing another colors, bluish color, and some red. So you can also put some reddish colors guys or red violet not just pure blue there so all you have to do guys is just blend all the colors there so I think I'm gonna put some horizon on it so I'm gonna use the white and the, the red there so I think this will be the horizon here there and of course there are some mountains on the distance so it's a little reddish color guys or red violet with some white there yeah maybe I'll just move it a little here down there okay so all you do is just blend the colors there all the way to the top just blend the colors there okay more that's it I'm going to put more red and some white in it because I want to emphasize, emphasize more red guys so I'm going to put more red here there touch it and some blue and red So just add some dark colors here, get darker than the, the, this part there. Okay. There. So we can now see the horizon clearly. There. So then just blend the colors here. You just have to fill this part guys with the uh, with everything with the colors there. There. I know this part should be white or lighter guys because this is uh, snow. This part should be snow so we're gonna make it light. Yeah, and I think I'm going to make it straight here. I'm going to extend the uh, this part here. Okay. So, so just follow, guys, if you're painting with me, and just enjoy while you're painting. There, because it's now straight. Okay. So next, I'm going to put, I'm going to add more white because this is snow, guys, and have to more. And just white and blue here. Just use this color here, the purple. And some white, more white. There. So I think I'm going to, yeah. Okay. 
okay so we need to fill this part with the light brown no light um yeah light blue there okay so again i'm gonna put more and some red and some white okay So this is just the background colors guys or the base color so later we're gonna add the highlights and the details Okay, so I'm going to add more red and blue. Yeah. So uh, I am mixing the two colors, guys. Not ju not just a uh, plain blue because I want it to be a little purple, and I don't like uh, plain light blue. So we're going to put the house here. Okay. Yeah. So what's next? So I think I'm going to I think I'm going to start adding now the yeah the fireworks maybe. I think I'm going to start with the fireworks first before I'm going to add the, the foreground objects here like the like the pine trees and the house here okay so let's start now painting the fireworks I am really I think I am a little excited guys with the fireworks okay so let's start with the yellow here and some red to make some orange color and of course the white to make it light there so we have now a light orange or a flesh color it's like, like just like you're mixing a flesh color guys i have some ants here below the below the the glass i am, I am using a glass guys for my mixing plate so there so i'll be using the flat number seven flat brush short handled but you can also use the smaller brush guys if you're having a hard time using this brush actually smaller brush or the detailed brush is way better than this one okay so i think i'm going to put a firework here there just one stroke guys that's it I think it's just too wet guys yeah there yeah maybe we just we need to let it dry first still need to let it dry guys because the paint is too wet
just like you are painting a, a plants guys there but I think I'm gonna let it dry first yeah I'm going to go back there later okay so I think I'm going to do some parts here so I'll be using a smaller brush it is the number eight nylon flat brush long and dog I'm going to put some pine trees dark pine trees so I'll be using the raw umber and some blue color to make some dark tones there to just mix the two colors guys yeah so just blue and raw umber with some red okay this is it so let's paint some pine trees here in the background there it there's a few quick strokes there okay and also there's here guys on the on the back a little on the background there Just a few strokes there. That's it. Few vertical strokes. You can position the brush this way. Okay. That's it. So we're going to leave this part for the bigger pine tree guys there and I think I'm gonna do the, the background color of the house first so I'm gonna have more raw umber there and let's paint the house the house first here so yeah I think I'm gonna add some blue color and some red there more blue here so this can be a barn guys or a house on top of the mountain I'm gonna dark make it dark everything there that's it ok 
Okay. And also, we're gonna put uh, the pine tree here. So this will be a little huge pine tree. You can make the the leaves something like this using this brush. If you have um, if you have uh, what do you call this a uh, fun brush, guys, you can also use that. There. So you can make a better better leaves with fun brush. And we can put some pato here, guys. Yeah. When we can put some pathway here on the on this part, on, the, on this part. There. Just, just create a uh, very light strokes for the for the sketch for the pathway there this pathway will be going to the house there that's it okay I think this, this is just a very basic easy tutorial guys and I think most beginners can do it yeah so yeah, I think it's it's already dry, so I think I'm going to continue adding the fireworks before I continue adding or painting the the foreground, so adding the details of the foreground. So I'll be using the number seven pot brush short handle, and this color here, which is the light orange, I'm going to add some yellow there, more white. Let's make this brighter there. That's it. There. So you have to create some bendings, guys, or curves. With, uh, with this brush just like you are making a plant but if you have a bit idea guys and painting the fireworks then you can also apply your own your own techniques or approach there it yeah 
and I'm going to add more red for some pinkish firework yeah pinkish light so just use the red case and white some here there that's it <laughs> and you can also put some 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 exploding fireworks here Now I'm going to put some blue fireworks or blue colors. So just you, just clean your brush, guys. Make it as colorful as possible. There. So just blue, guys. With that, we add it, uh, um, add some white in it. There. to support to make a uh, straighter lines there that's it Sorry guys if you can see. There. There. So just let's add more. Okay, that's a blue fireworks. <laughs> that's it. Then I'm gonna add more small fireworks, guys. Yeah, I think just plain white will do. Yeah, something like this.
magic. We we'll add more. I think here. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that's looks like fireworks now. <laughs> So what else? So I think a purple. Yeah, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna mix for some purple. So some red. And some blue color. Just a little blue and white. There. Okay. So again, I'm gonna paint like something like that some exploding fireworks there it just it's, it just look like white And also some red guys. We need to put some red more red fireworks. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put like here. There. That's it. And here. Yeah. And let's add some white on the right guys here. Some pink. Gonna put some exploding here. Okay. I, I'm not sure guys if it looks right <laughs> okay so I think I'm gonna use some white guys to, to add more light so I'm gonna use some white here and let's put more light white here Okay, and some orange guys, I'm going to be mixing more orange here, with some more yellow, there, so I'm going to put one huge firework here, there, just like a plant case.
and I'll be adding some white to make it brighter. what else so I think I'm gonna add more add more light yeah so I'll still be using this color guys with some more white Okay. Yeah, I think it it lacks brightness, guys. So I'm going to add more white here. I'm gonna use more white. So I'll add more red. Okay. I just put more blue guys again, I guess. So some blue here and white. Okay. And also guys I'm going to put some smokes there. So just use this purple here with some white. So just put some smokes guys. There. 
So this gonna be a very brightness part. That's it. Yeah, I think that will be enough. Okay. So I think I'm going to continue on painting the house now. I'm not really satisfied with the with the fireworks, but I think, I think it's okay. It it actually lacks um, brightness uh, of the color, guys. So if you are if you are using the luminous colors or those bright colors, guys, yeah, that will be good for the if you are painting the fireworks. Okay, so I'm going to start painting at the house. And then try to reveal some white here. So I'll be using some white guys and some little amount of blue and purple and red to make it purple. But more white guys there. So let's put paint some snow on the roof of the house there. Also put some chin chimney guys there. That's it. And we add more white. And let's paint more snow here. There. It's gonna add some highlights on the snow there. So if you're painting with me, just follow what I'm doing. There. You can use the pure white. gonna be an easy tutorial for the beginners there and also here is uh, gonna put some highlights that's it there and I'll be using some blue and red to make uh, some um, light purple with, with some white and let's put some wait uh, it should be darker guys so I'm using more red and blue. There. I'm gonna put some highlights on this pine trees here. So don't overdo it guys, um, just follow my lead and always remember that don't overdo it, just add, you need to add more, more dark tones or dark backgrounds and also here guys don't forget this pine trees here. And here. There. That's 
that's it. Okay, and you can use the pure white to add more uh, highlights. That's it. That's it, okay, guys. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to use more white here. And now we're gonna put some windows guys on the house. So I'll be using in the number seven pot brush. And the, the orange here with some white there. More yellow there. And white. So let's put some window here. case there that's it and we're gonna put some details on there so I'll be using the raw umber with some yellow and some red and some white. That's it. So it's gonna be a burn, guys. There. So I'm putting some more details or yeah, some horizontal details on this house and here we're gonna put some vertical And uh, next mix for a darker color. So just add draw umber guys to make it darker and just put some vertical here. There. That's it. So you have now the barn guys. With some light inside inside it. Okay. On a Christmas Eve. Yeah, I think this is just a very easy tutorial guys with some fireworks on the background yeah okay so I'm not sure guys if I am done so let's, let me check so I think we'll just have a little retouch on, on the house itself so here get more yeah, st st still wet there
there. Okay. Guessing me to add more. And I'll be using the small brush, the liner brush here, guys. And I'm going to use some raw umber. Before I forget, there. This should be um, a fringe window. So here guys, I'm gonna put one here. There. That's it. Okay. So I think I am done guys with my simple and very easy tutorial on how to paint this. Um, Christmas Eve painting with some fireworks in the background. Okay. So I hope you understand guys and you get something out of the tutorial and you can, you can paint on your own and you can apply it on your own painting. So thank you guys for watching this video today and my advice guys is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay guys, thank you very much. Please hit like and some comments and subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay guys, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all.